What's going on everybody? Beastly Gamer here and welcome to the Beastly Gamer channel. Here we are, February 2015, and who won the console war last month? Drumroll please. Sony did. PlayStation 4 dominated in January of 2015, uh, finally putting them back on top after two months of being dragged through the mud by Microsoft. Now, 2014, it was Sony's year. From the beginning of the year all the way up until November, PlayStation 4 won consistently every month. And in November, Phil Spencer and Microsoft decided to do something crazy. They did a crazy price drop. They dropped the Xbox One's price from $500 to $400 to $350. And when they dropped it to $350, they created these crazy bundles. You could get Assassin's Creed, and you could get uh, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. I'm, I'm sure there was two more, I can't remember. But they did four bundles for 350 bucks. That means you get a console, no connect, you get a game for $50 less than the PlayStation 4 by itself. And during the Christmas season, people went ape shit for this bundle. Everybody bought it. Everybody got it. I didn't get mine at that time, but I got mine now. And I actually got a better deal than that. But people um, went crazy. You know, Black Friday, Christmas time, everybody was grabbing an Xbox One because it was, it was very powerful. You know, it's comparable to the PS4. The games don't really look too different on huh? And uh, Microsoft has some great uh, first-party games. They have some great exclusives. Halo, Halo fans out there, Microsoft's Xbox 360 fan base, all those guys are grabbing the Xbox Xbox One uh, in November and December. Unfortunately, Microsoft didn't foresee uh, people being upset with them raising the price back up to $400 at the beginning of January. And I knew back when they first dropped the price that that was their intention. They, they actually said it. That this is a temporary price drop and the price will go up i believe it was january 3rd 2015 that the price is going to go back up so at the beginning of january the xbox one's price went back up they took the games out of the boxes and the price went back up to 400 bucks and everybody said the hell with that if i'm going to be 400 dollars i want to get a playstation 4 and uh so the sales for the xbox one stopped i feel bad for anybody out there who bought an xbox one at the 400 dollar price range because within a week they dropped it back down to 350 again so all Xbox Ones are now 350 and not for a limited time. This is actually the price they're going to stay at. And uh, I think it's really smart. I think that they need they need it to keep that price. You know, I thought that going back up was just foolhardy and shooting yourself in the foot. But Sony came through with their own bundles. Sony created a bundle with The Last of Us. The Last of Us Remastered, $399. You get one of the best games of all time. Bam. Anybody who wanted a PS4 and saw that bundle was like, hell yeah, I'm going to grab that. They also did a bundle where you get a downloadable code inside the box, and you can pick one of four games. They had Destiny, which was huge in 2014, NBA uh, 2K14, Far Cry 4, which is huge in 2014, and Little Big Planet 3. So that was another crazy bundle that Sony did for $400, you know, tr trying to get the momentum back, and I think they got it. I don't know what's going to happen from this point on. You know, here we are in February. Microsoft could very well take February. It all depends on the games. I think Sony's got some really good stuff coming out. Um, hearing rumblings about the Order 1886, um, hearing rumblings about Bloodborne, and not really hearing anything right now about Xbox. So hopefully Xbox has some new uh, great games coming out soon that they can, you know, at least compete with Sony on. But I think the price point is is reasonable. I think that the three six the three hundred and fifty dollar price point for the Xbox One is perfect. I think that that'll give them an opportunity to at least compete with PlayStation, but I don't know what's going to happen. I own both consoles, so I don't, I'm not into the console war. I want every, everybody to be happy. I just want to see what's going to happen from this point on. You guys let me know what you think. Can Xbox come back in 2015? What do they have up their sleeve? You know, we got E3 coming pretty soon. Uh, what kind of surprises do you guys see Microsoft doing that can, uh, relinquish the throne of PS4 and put them back on top this year. Let me know in the comments below and let me know what you think about the PS4. With these new games coming like Bloodborne, is it a wrap for Microsoft? You guys let me know in the comments below and as always, thanks for the support. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'm the Beastly Gamer and I'll see you guys next time.